Okay, there's my backpack. We also have the ending station set up. Behold the Darth Bryboy ending station. And my old computer, which I'm gonna leave unplugged um, when it's not being the main one. I think I'm just gonna switch between computer depending on what's convenient. Um, that sounds kind of crazy, but it's workable for me anyway. Um, I could probably just um, upload that video because it's on this drive. So there's that, but I'm currently finishing up part six of the collection overview. So yeah, there's that. Um, I don't really know. You're probably going, Darth, you should probably just ditch the old computer over there. But that thing holds a lot of sentimental value. Plus, I like its better. I like its version of Photoshop a lot better. Although you could probably say with dual monitors, uh, any advantages that uh, the Dell can do that Toshiba could probably do better. Um, although, if I want to be technical, this is a. Funny enough, this was called a Premiere Studio laptop. Back in the early 2000s, and it's got dust and shit there, so. Yeah, I've taken pretty good care of this thing. And there's a, some stickers on it. And there's the old background. So if you wonder why the new background switches up, well, it's because different sides of the desk are being used. Even though this is really a banquet table, not a desk, but the work desk for me. So, just thought I'd give you guys an update. Alrighty, so welcome to a segment where I don't even know what the hell the point of this is. But this is how the setup looks right now. I moved my uh, laptop there. So what I've kind of come to, what I'm going to try to get myself accustomed to is... Or, oops, do not want to get that fucked up. I've had to get that thing fixed a few times, but it's a good computer. Um, is I'm trying to get myself accustomed to the idea of swapping everything. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I take off, uh, whoops, and this is the only problem with that, uh, give me a second. Let me it from here. And, uh, you take everything, and you swap it around a little bit, and that way, uh, it should work in a way where it's not that big of a deal. Now this is my second monitor. It's not, well it's a TV. But I use it as a second monitor. I could probably use it for either computer, to be honest, but I prefer to use it for the, uh, the Toshiba one. Because the Toshiba one is where the Premiere videos are made, okay? I edit on Premiere on that because I don't know if I could edit Premiere feasibly on that thing, especially now, because it's out of date, it's old, it can still edit videos decently enough, you know, like on Movie Maker and shit, but, you know, any, I think anything above Movie Maker, it would go kill me, hell, even the Toshiba one was having some issues with uh, editing and rendering videos and shit, nice. On. Okay, so now it's gonna do the bullshit where it's like initializing drivers. I'm like, why? I'm using you. I've used this mouse for as long as I've had this thing. This mouse, this fucking mouse. Uh, really, uh, stories I could tell. I edited so many giantess pictures with this thing. It's not even funny. And uh, still using it today. I got some other mouse. I have some other mice, like mouse stuff, I guess, but, you know, I don't know why it's initializing drivers. I also had breakfast, so it's early in the morning, it's 9 o'clock. My class doesn't start till, uh, well, later, but, I'm just, you know, what the hell does this thing want? 
Um, because it's like the... It's an old computer. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, ironically enough, they're both Core i5 machines. So maybe, maybe this thing is more powerful than I give it credit for. Because it's an old laptop, but it still fucking works. I mean, I shoot videos on it, like with the webcam, which I think, even though the Toshiba one technically is a better webcam. Um, well, actually, I think it's the same damn resolution. I think this webcam is a better webcam. I think because it's a bigger webcam and maybe has more, a slightly higher megapixel count. So sometimes what I like to do is I just like to go on YouTube and check the, check some things out. A fish eye lens kind of creates that weird distortion effect, even though it's not really there. But regardless, I like the GoPro. I like using it. It kind of reminds me of using my old iPod Nano. It's a quick camera to take out and shoot video with. You know, I miss those days. Gotta check YouTube, and, uh... I'm actually impressed, you know, that... I mean, look at this. This whole library of videos is done... Is thanks to, uh... Oh, awesome! Great! It's initializing, even though I knew it would initialize anyway. Um... Yeah, this is my old girl. Um, the only thing that's annoying is this mouse thing here, which it's a mouse with wrist rest. I have a wrist rest because carpal tunnel. Although sometimes you got to get used to the idea that you're not always going to have a wrist rest on standby, so you've got to like use other shit. I don't have like a camcorder, but I don't think I need a camcorder because, well, why don't I need a camcorder? That's a good question. I don't think why I wouldn't need a camcorder. Um, I guess I don't need... Someone wrote $15 for Shark Tale. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> hey, I love making these videos. Um, I don't think which part of the collection overview that is. Because part 6 is up, and then I got part 7, part 8, part 9, and part 10. Well, I got like 4 parts left to edit, and uh, part 7's getting there. I mean, uh, these videos don't require as much editing as I thought it would be. <laughs> I was kind of worried for a second, like, oh, fuck, there's a part missing. What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do? And it's like, there's a part where I skip a movie, obviously, but the problem is... Um, I, in my mind, it's too late to go back and add something in. I could do it, but then it wouldn't be the collection overview of 2018 anymore. Then it would be into 2019. And I, the goal of that video was to shoot everything by the end of 2018. And I did that. So it would be, it would not make sense for me to shoot the rest in, uh, 2018. You know what I mean? I mean, shoot the rest in 20, like, add a part from 2019 and then shoot Warden I, I could, but it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't make sense, at least in my mind. I don't know. My brain is tired. It's very tired. It's not that tired at eight. I guess I'm more anxious because of, it's my second day of college and it's a new class. So I'm a little stressed, but I'll do fine. I got all A's last semester. I'm very proud of that. Um, hmm. I guess that's it, really. We got a lot of videos to edit, a lot of work to get done, and we've got my second monitor there. And it's a, you know, here, here I'll give you some advice right now. If you want a dual monitor setup, don't don't waste fucking money looking for like, oh, I need this monitor, I need that monitor. Just get a cheap fucking TV. Get, and put it on your, if you have a work desk, put it on a desk. <laughs> and there you have a dual monitor set up. <laughs> like, you know, I think one of the people that taught me about a dual monitor setup and how to do it kind of cheaply was 8-Bit Guy, even though he actually got a proper, a proper monitor for his shit, you know? Whereas I'm just a schmuck with a GoPro talking. And there's going to be another Chinatown, Chinatown video, I don't know. Why do I always get these fucking Apple software updates?
I'm now putting an Apple software update on this thing a lot. Also, how do you like the Spider-Man 3 poster? It's been there for like, ever. It's been there for like, 12 years. That movie's 12 years old. I turned 12 when that movie came out. And now it's 12 years old. Same as that poster. That poster is 12 fucking years old. And then we got my Black Widow Shrine. And then we got all this good shit. You know? I, I gotta put another poster there. Um, I have these, uh, this old stuff that in my body will work on. Like my photography work at it. Also, I love those, uh, Black Series things of Ray. Ray is Bay. That rhymes. Black Widow is also Bay. Oh, I am very tired. I also can't wait for... Okay, movies I can't wait to come out on Blu-ray. Vice and Into the Spider-Verse. Also a few others. But even though in the collection overview, there's a part of the collection overview where I use the Filthy Frank clip, it's time to stop. But obviously, I don't fully believe that. Because if I did fully believe that, um, I would implement it. All I need now is a cardboard cutout of Ray. Except that would not fit down here. Okay, so right now, I'm in the middle of watching my collection overview. Uh, the reason why, the reason why I'm watching my collection overview is because I guess I'd like to see um, if the video works. Like if it holds up and if it's watchable and, you know, a good time, a good thing to watch if you like my content. So, I rebought the Psycho Steelbook. And it's brand new and unopened and no rusting. So you know what I'm gonna do? Leave it in the shrink wrap. Yeah, I can already tell my fingers are kinda like would have fucked it up by this point. So we're just gonna put it right here for now. And in the meantime I put the Blu-ray from that steel book in this I had a Criterion release nope I had Twilight I had a Twilight time key and I put the Twilight time key I put a, I printed out my own uh, blu-ray cover after several trial and error things and put the thing put the blu-ray in here um, it could be glossier yes but this is fine enough I probably will get a glossier uh, cover of this. And I also fucked up a little bit. Like, while I was cutting, I was just getting so enraged that I, like, did so many trial and error. Where I'm just trying to make this fucker look good. And then I get just about perfect. And then, shh, I fuck it up. I'm like, oh, God, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. And I said, fuck it. Let's put the Blu-ray cover in here and deal with it. So now I have a version of Psycho that won't go through disc rotty bullshit. And we also have Tomb Raider movies all together. Because that was a priority. <laughs> um, I think that's it for the video. So, what about the other steelbooks? Depends on how good or bad they're. And the shape. Like how good or like how good the shape is versus how bad the shape is, I think. I just said that already. But yeah. Don't buy steel books. They're a bit of a waste of money. You're like, you own a lot of steel books. Exactly. I had to get rid of one of mine. But you rebought that one. Yeah, because it looked good. And if I was going to get it, I wanted a good copy of it. But I'll be like, you know what? I already got the movie on Blu ray. I already got the movie on DVD. Um, just take the Blu ray out, put it in a new case, so that I can at least watch the fucking movie without freaking out about the damn cover. So that's exactly what I did, so. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.